There are approximately 2 billion children, persons under age 18, in the world. However, since Santa does not visit children of Muslim, Hindu, Jewish, or Buddhist religions, this reduces the workload for Christmas night to 15% of the total, or 378 million, according to the Population Reference Bureau. A 2024 study by the UN Department of Economic and Social Affairs puts the worldwide fertility rate at roughly 2.4 children per mother. For our purposes, we'll ignore things like child mortality, single parenthood, and divorce, and we'll make it easier for Santa and just say that there are two and a half kids in each family. That comes to 151 million homes, presuming that there are kids in each household who have been good all year and deserve a present from Santa. Ah! At least one kid, anyway. Santa has about 31 hours of Christmas to work with, thanks to the different time zones and the rotation of the Earth, assuming he travels east to west, which seems logical. This works out to 1,353 visits per second. This is to say that for each Christmas celebrating household with a good child, Santa has less than one one thousandth of a second to park the sleigh, hop out, jump down the chimney, distribute the presents under the tree, fill the stockings, eat whatever snacks have been left for him, get back up the chimney, jump into the sleigh, and get on to the next house. Assuming that each of these 151 million stops is evenly distributed around the 197 million square miles of Earth, which of course we know to be false, but we'll accept for the purposes of our calculations, we are now talking about 1.14 miles per household, a total trip of 172 million miles, not counting bathroom stops or breaks. This means Santa's sleigh is moving at 1,540 miles per second, over 7,000 times the speed of sound. For purposes of comparison, the fastest man-made vehicle, the Parker Solar Probe, moves at a sluggish 118 miles per second, and a conventional reindeer can run at best 15 miles per hour. The payload of the sleigh adds another interesting element. Assuming that each child gets nothing more than a medium-sized set of building blocks, about 2 pounds, the sleigh is carrying over 343,000 tons, not counting Santa himself. On land, a conventional reindeer can pull no more than 300 pounds. Even granting that the flying reindeer could pull 10 times the normal amount, the job can't be done with 8 or even 9 of them. Santa would need 2,520,000 of them. This increases the payload, not counting the weight of the sleigh, another 228,000 tons, or roughly 40 times the weight of the Queen Elizabeth II. The ship, not the monarch. 571,000 tons traveling at 1,500 miles per second creates enormous air resistance. This would heat up the reindeer in the same fashion as a spacecraft re-entering the Earth's atmosphere. The lead reindeer would absorb 163 trillion pounds of drag force each. In short, they would burst into flames almost instantly, exposing the reindeer behind them and creating deafening sonic booms in their wake. The entire reindeer team would be vaporized within 4.26 thousandths of a second, or right about the time Santa reached the fifth house on his trip. Not that it matters, however, since Santa, as a result from accelerating from a dead stop to 1,540 miles per second in .001 seconds, would be subjected to a force of over 252,000 Gs. A 250-pound Santa, which seems a bit slim, would be pinned to the back of the sleigh by 62,957,000 pounds of force, instantly crushing his bones and organs and reducing him to a quivering blob of goo. Therefore, if Santa did exist, he's dead now.